ride. It's my posh ride, my motorcycles and stuff like that. So Are you ride yourself? Uh, I will be. I plan to get my license very soon. Okay. I'm thinking about it. My father, I, I want to Ducati. Well, for he used to ride Ducati. Mm. So I'm, I'm, we're still trying to figure out what, you know, which bike to really get. What's up, y'all? Old school lights came here. Back at the auto show. We've been going for a minute, but we back. What's up, Mr. Tucker? How y'all doing? No, we got Mike in the house. JB in the building. Got a special guest. Uh, Tassine Abdulbar. Tassine Abdulbar. Give our man a round of applause. Thank you for coming on, bro. Most definitely. Most definitely. Local artists. And before we get into this, uh, see, I didn't mess your name up all right. It's a scene. Hey, I ain't gonna be the only one to make that mistake tonight. What? Yeah. And you got a nickname though? People call you T or what? Uh, they call me Scene. Scene. Like movie scene. Oh, I like that. All right, all right. Scene. <laughs> I ain't gonna call you. Yeah. I'm too grown to be called you Scene. <laughs> but anyway, look, before we go there, I, I need to say one thing. This is uh, the last show before somebody assigns that contract. And uh, I want to go ahead and <laughs> put some love out to him. Congratulations to Mrs. Uh, Tucker and Mr. Tucker. Go ahead and give him some love. Let's get this, bro. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Happy <laughs> Jersey hanging out in the Good luck with that. <laughs> when, we, when we come back, he should have a nice big smile on his face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to see, tell us your own words. We're going to start off just you introducing yourself. Go ahead. All right, cool. My name is Asina Abdulbar. I'm a local artist from Peachy County. Uh, I've been an artist for about a year now. I've been designing jackets for about eight months now. So I'm just taking it, you know, one step at a time and moving towards my goal. Cool. It's the biggest thing. I'm going to put out a little disclaimer. So my daughter actually told me about a local artist. My oh. daughter's an artist herself. Oh. Shout out to your daughter. Shout out to your daughter. You know the artist formerly known as Sam. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's funny. He trying to give a look too. Like. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. We good? We good? Great. Snapchat. One of the most things she impressed me, though, was about how serious you were about your art. She showed me some of your pictures. And what I was impressed about is what you created here. So you created a new style of art. Yeah. Also, she told me you gave up football. Yes. So anybody knows me know I love football. And to hear that somebody gave up football, I need to understand. <laughs> so uh, and playing star quarterback. Yeah. So tell me about that. Uh, so, you know, I've been playing football for about 12 years. Okay. Until I, started, I used to play for Forestville Falcons, and I used to play for Marlboro Mustangs. Shout out to Forestville. Yeah. Marcus, man. Shout out yeah. to Marcus. <laughs> Just got the commissioner job at Forestville. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, I started off over there, um, played for uh, Wise for a little bit. Couldn't really play because my grades were a little messed up. But, um, you know, I played, uh, you know, did a lot of camps for University of Florida, did quarterback down there, you know, just different little spots, you know. And right. I really hit my peak at Navajo Christian School. So I played quarterback uh, junior year. Unfortunately, I, ain't, I, didn't, I didn't start at all. It was a little... A little weird, but you know, I ain't start. You know, I ain't start but, you know uh, my junior year ain't go as, you know, as planned. Right. Real, for real, and then uh, went down and played uh, wide receiver my senior year. Now, my, my 40 time is a 4 5. I'm very fast. So mm -hmm. I'm not really a throwing court. I just like to run. So, right. You know, I, that's the biggest thing. So I right. wasn't really taught that way. You know? okay. So I did that. So they moved me off at wide receiver. And so, you know, I, I like wide receiver for real, for real. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't cool. For the right. most part, but I wanted to always play quarterback. Okay. So I, you know, I, I did it for a little while and whatnot, and it was it was all right. But you know, for the most part, I wanted to do quarterback. So, right. and I had a lot of looks at wide receiver. I had looks from Townsend University, um, University of Richmond, Old Dominion. Um, I had um, who else? Uh, Rutgers. Okay. Um, I had V Tech for a little while, um, but I kind of turned them a lot of them down because I didn't want to play wide right. receiver. Most people might call that stupid, you know, getting all those looks, but you try I stayed. With, yeah. Went with your heart. Yeah, with my heart. You know, I wanted to do, you know, quarterback. So let me ask you this. What? So go ahead, Carl. What you about to say? Oh, Charlie, you about to say? Go ahead, Charlie. Why you want to pitch him? Baseball. Huh? What do you want to pitch it? Uh, I never really played baseball. I, I never watched it at all. Be a quarterback. Yeah. Why don't yeah, you just go out there and talk to the rock? Talk. I don't know. It never actually crossed my mind. I, I never played baseball. So, you know, it never crossed my mind really. That's the PG thing. For the most thing. part, yeah. It never crossed my mind that's really. That's the PG thing. How'd you end up Bowie State? Um, I met the um. Shout out Bowie State alumni. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> my bad. So you know, I went um, I went down to uh, I, I met this. Uh, 
this work uh, my workout person uh, Marvin, and so he knew the coach down there, and, and so he introduced me to him. Um, so we you know we but as we were supposed to be, I was supposed to be playing quarterback down there, but you know he switched up a little you know a little bit when we do wide receiver. You know a lot of my looks came out wide receiver, so. Right. You know, I won't put you in that spot. Yeah, you know, but you know, knowing me as a person, you know, I don't really care like you know what people you know what people think or how they feel about me. I'm gonna do right. what I want to do. So gotcha. you know, I I did you know quarterback. So right. but I, I I actually took off his offer. So you know, I was like, nah. You know, he's like, we got too many like quarterbacks in the roster and stuff like that. Yeah. So I was like, all right, you know, you know I'm just going to just do Politics. yeah yeah yeah. You know, so like so I was like, all right, you know, I'm just going to do my own thing. And so I had like a little. Uh, um, you know, I, I worked out with a lot of people who didn't make the team. So right. I worked out with them. And, you know, all my life, I've always been a leader. You know, I want to help out people who, you know, wasn't doing so good. You know, because me, personally, I was a whole bench one my whole life. For, right. for, you know, but I always had that big dream to, you know, be that big time quarterback. So, like, Are you still I in saw, school now? Uh, nah, not right now. I'll probably get into that. Yeah, a little. Okay, nah. we'll put a challenge on you. Mm hmm. Look into baseball. Baseball. Got yeah, you. Check, check, check out baseball. So I'll check you out later. Check Look into baseball. Pitching. All right, cool. Bet you pull strike one out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I did like a little, um, you know, help, help out a lot of people, you know, who didn't um, unfortunately make it. You know, like I said, I've always been a leader, so. So when you see yourself in five about, years to see? About five years. I see myself straight to the top. Um, I recently took on this art design career. It's called Line Tracks. Um, mm -hmm. It's made by myself. Um, I'm, form I'm not formally taught, you know, right. so this comes straight from my mind after it's done. Um, I don't call myself an artist, I'm actually a creator, so I create the stuff that comes out of my mind, you know, so I don't really like the art stuff, you know, but where I see myself in five years straight to the top, you know, I'm not here to like be in the fashion to make, you know, necessarily like friends, I want to compete with these people, and that just comes from my, you know, competitive football background that right. I want to be the best at what I do, so I don't care who you are, you know, how you do it, right. stuff like that, you know, so I, I already question. do it. You say you want to go to the top and you want to create, I mean, compete. Yeah. But you don't have any training, and what you do is just create. So what yeah. what lane are you in? Where if you competing against, let's say, Lawrence and myself are artists, and we got clothing line, would you say you competing against other clothing lines or other creators, or what what lane are you in? I would say the biggest thing I'm in competition with is myself. Over the years, I have this style has looked rugged, and I kept you know pr perfecting it really. So I, um, I would say the biggest competition right now is, you know, within myself. There's a lot of, you know, clothing line companies who, you know, they just like, you know, put stuff on the shirt or they got this stuff or like, you know, like a word and like, you know, simple, plain and black. You know, I'm trying to get rid of that, you know, the fashion industry that, you know, I'd rather give my word to somebody who's being, you know, talented or somebody, you know, working their butt off to really just put something on the shirt. They do it like that. You know, anybody can really do that. You know, you know, what's the talent in that? So, you know, that's the biggest thing on what, you know, necessarily I stand for is I'm trying to change the whole you know fashion yeah. design industry and everything you know just from just white and black really so if you had to pick so let's get in the market and let's say you, you had to pick either a sports guy a musician or somebody to actually wear your clothes and represent you kind of how they got uh sean john you got trey songs all these other artists yeah. or whatever wearing that stuff what artists do you think brings out your creativity um the the, the biggest artist i talk to right now is meek mill and so uh, I think I think he would really bring out. He likes motorcycles and he likes you know that popping flair. So you know I, I think that would be the biggest. Wins and thing. losses in stores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you, you got something with me now or what? Um, so I, I've talked to his manager. I met him uh, at Radio One station. Showed him my jackets. He liked it and um, he sent his manager to go ahead and talk to me and you know we'll be in touch. You know. Right. So it's kind of like you know just just a wait process. We're gonna find where you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people contact him, but I'm right. just gonna wait my time. And, Okay, I'm I'm like that. Humble yeah. but strong. You think Rick Ross can get on one of them? Huh. <laughs> Boss. Huh. I was lo I was looking at it. I was like, I'm looking at your jacket. I don't know enough see, scenes see on that jacket. The old retro style in the actual jackets themselves. Yeah. That's some '80s flavor jackets. The oh, collars yeah, in the yeah. pocket. Boosie. So collars. you did that on purpose? Yeah, yeah mostly. I, I like. I, I, I feel like I was born in like the wrong like age time. Really, I, I like mm -hmm. all the '80s music, '90s music. I, I'm a huge um, Wu Tang fan. I heard you uh, a Game of Thrones, Star Wars fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, also. You know how like all the black cats in the '70s movies they did the karate and stuff. 
They did karate and stuff, yeah. but they was real cool as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They walking down the street with something shoe suckers. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he about to rap. <laughs> Tell me about this painting. How is it you got the reflected part in the paint? Oh, so that's um that's all like a second coat. So that's kind of what I use on my um jaggers as well. It's a second coat. Okay. Uh, shout out to Angelus Paint. That's what I use. Okay. So, you know, I do like a second coat with Angelus Paint. And so it makes it, gives it that glare, that pop. So that right. it's kind of like a little bit of like glitter in there just to make sure it gives it more of a... Right. Like a glistening. And what is the name of this style? Line tracks. Line tracks. Yeah, line tracks. Oh, okay. Is it seasonal or you just like what what type of year do you put the word like fall, summer? Um, it, you know, it's it's whatever the um you know the person that's buying it sees. Uh, right now it's just going to be a more sort of a fall type thing. Summertime, no. I mean, maybe if a light jacket, you know, at okay. nighttime or something right, like right, that, right. you know. But for the most part, it's going to be more so winter. And stuff like that, and, and that's the big. Cause I, I'm I'm also in the New York Fashion Week this year, September 9th, and so this is a whole winter collection. No, actually, yeah, I, so. I, I I would definitely buy that. You rock which one? You rock, Joe. Yeah, so he yeah. got on. Hurry up, let's see. Hey, 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 Jones, how much? How much these jackets run? What's your price range? Um, you Gucci or you? Price tag. Come on. He said YSL. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I put a lot of time in my work, you know, throughout, I've always been, like I said, I, I grind, I put in about good nine hours per day, I got over, in a whole year in total, I got over 150 designs, and that's just me just putting in work, time, I mean, not to be a bad thing, I used to like skip classes in college just to do drawing and stuff like that, just to get my name out there, and I started off as an artist first, and then moved on the jackets, you know, but yeah, I've always been a grinder. I, I believe in, you know, the grind is that, if, you know, if you don't work for something, then, you know, you don't deserve it. Respect. And that's the biggest thing. So everything I've gotten, I necessarily worked for, you know, and that was, a, that was the biggest thing. And, it, you know, it was, a little, it was a little hard to leave football, you know, something that I was trying to do for the most part. But once I got in, um, I did get in contact with a Nike representative. And I told myself that day when I got in contact with Nike is that, you know, if I'm going to do this, you know, I'm going to give it my 100%. I'm not going to fall second to no man. I'm not going to sit there, you know, just be there. You know, just to be there. You know, I never get complacent. You know, I'm always, anybody that knows me knows that I'm always got an art in my own, you know, doing this, designs. I, I, I got, you know, thousands of designs, you know, and that's the biggest thing. And I just want to be the best at what I do, and, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't right. try to do that. So you ain't never really told me how well, to <laughs> I'm saying here like, I, 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 I like how you did it, bro. No man. man. No man. man. You know how you go on the website? Yeah. No uh, that sounds like, sound like 600. That sounds like 600. Yeah, it, 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 dep it depends on the, um, for a custom made jacket, the starting price is 300. Mm -hmm. So from, from there, then it's, you know, I move on to, you know, more and more and more, you know, price. It depends with the person when, like this son right here. I, I talked to a lot of seamstress, a lot of people has been doing sewing for a long time. They said they've never seen this style before. I could really have any price won't be out of the ordinary is what so they say. Yeah. What about the portrait? <laughs> um, so the portraits, um, I would say about, you know, mainly it, it depends on like a big painting. My biggest painting right now is a four by eight plywood. Okay. But something like that, you know, probably about 300, 400. Something like that. You ain't got three, four hundred. You only be hard. Yeah. You doing? You doing custom helmets, custom yeah. jackets, custom paintings. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Hey, that's that, that's the biggest. I want to keep it as you limited. Shoes too? Yeah, I design shoes as well. Yeah, Nike. Uh, oh, I right. I took I took that um <laughs> I took that into effect uh, when I was out in Ohio for football. Right. And um. I did little shoes. I did about forty pairs of shoes, and I sent them up, sent my portfolio to Nike, and yeah. from there Nike really uh, they liked it. Got into a contact with a Nike representative, and right. he was like, "Look, you know, I'm gonna work with you, and you know, I'm gonna prep you for you know trying to you know give me an internship, right. you know, in okay. the later years." So you know, that's like the get biggest thing. Get that work thing. in. Put that work Right. Well, so is there any way can somebody can buy your stuff online or how you selling your material? Yeah, uh, everything everything should be online at the at the New York Fashion Week September 9th. Okay. So at the at the uh, September so September you 9th. Plug your website in or your yeah. information in. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah definitely. Yeah. We're gonna put, we're gonna post all of that. Okay. Yeah, right. Follow right. everything. All right. Well, fellas, we gonna we gonna we gonna change into sports a little bit. Yeah. Make sure yeah. you answer all these questions as well. Uh, he said he was sport. like Mike Vick. That's what I heard him say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I did send over your huddle clips too. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you forgot okay. about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I, yeah, sent them out. I haven't seen them in a while. All right, so let's start out with uh, one big thing: staying local. Have y'all read up on Nike versus uh, uh, Under Armour in the in the local school? 
I know so, they battling, trying to claim territory. The master has gone Nike. I mean, Nike. They've been Nike forever, but the it's master gone, has gone. partially gone under armor, and it, it's a real big upset because <laughs> the boy went to St. John's. He graduated from there. They total under armor all the way to their, their uniforms and everything. But Nike uh, was total in house the master, but part of the master has left, and uh, they didn't resign. They didn't re up their contract. So uh, football is still Nike. Well, actually, the JV, the varsity football is Under Armour, but JV and freshman squad are uh, Under Armour. So it's causing, I mean, it's a big deal. You got people calling the principal, the principal flicking off. He's like, hey, I ain't know this is that big deal. You got other schools competing. What's the school? Good counsel. They haven't signed with anybody. Adidas uh-huh. is in on the game. I think Adidas got PG County locked up. So I just want to run that by y'all what y'all think, what you think about the marketing. Um, and whoever gets Ball ain't got a contract it. yet, but I heard he coming too. You know. Hey, if Triple B paying that <laughs> bread, <laughs> Triple B's. <laughs> Rocking Triple B's. Hey, man. Right? If Nike hey, giving that dollar, I'm with Nike. They can whoever keep my paying. school open. Yeah. I ain't going to keep my school open. It's part, of, it's part of the... And then Nike, I mean, the math of basketball got a whole separate... Then the whole school. So they stay in Nike. Well, how do y'all... And then some of the ADs are like, look, man, this is professionalism creeping into high school sports. It should... should so this be happening at the high school level. I mean, on they exploiting the them anyway. Yeah. They already they already got them on TV and their lives not private anymore. You know. What do you think about it, you young buck? I, I, I say like I said, like whoever, whoever throwing that, whoever throwing, throwing, the throwing the money, money. <laughs> yeah, I would say whoever throwing the you money like, for I, real. Can I design a shoe? Yeah, you know, yeah, okay. something like that. You know, that's the biggest thing. Whoever throwing the you. biggest money, you know. You know, pretty much got it. So, you know, I would say that's the biggest oh, thing. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, who's some of the people you look up to? You, you love football. You came up doing football. Was football your first love? Yes. Yeah. So, who was the guys you admired playing football? Uh, Michael Vick. Vick. That's my favorite player, yeah. You never heard he, of he, he, he he Yeah, even though he, you know, he got in trouble with the dog stuff, but, you know. You never heard of this dude named Mike Lane? Nah. <laughs> uh, not at all. Not at all. Who is that? So who's the you know? uh, I'm a Falcons fan. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, well, you sorry know, for so, your loss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little, you know, a little heartbreaking, you know. Yeah, that was a little. little, 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 little. <laughs> but you know, my favorite quarterback is um uh, Tom Brady, so I, I'm a huge Tom Brady fan. Yeah, bro, wow. yeah, from Mike yeah, Pick. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I like how Tom Brady. Brady you know. to Tom Brady. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> you know, you know, I like, I like the. He's still, uh, you he's know. still growing up. Yeah. So, uh, the Huddle Show just got back from Vegas. And we did. We gonna talk probably about that. What? We no, talked about it last. Yeah, no, we ain't talking about it. All this right here is Vegas. I was just looking for a little segue into the little next issue, but your boy LeBron was out in uh, Vegas this week. Mm-hmm. So he was uh, AAU tournament out there. Mm-hmm. So he in the stands calling people, curse by I me, mean, calling the referees out their name. His son is playing. People are like, what's going on with LeBron? I mean, it, you he know, a parent, man. All other same. parents do it. Is that cool? It's, man, all other parents cool to do you it. You coach football, right? Right. Yeah. I've coached with you, right? Yeah. yeah. So what you trying to say? And I've heard you say plenty <laughs> words. It's not in the that's, dictionary. That's, that's on the field. That's, that's, I'm, 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 when, I'm we, coach. when we coach, <laughs> parents coach, was coming out. Say he was the coach, right? No, no, he's not the coach. No, he's just parents. He just coached the game, too, though. He did coach a game. That's another thing people's pissed about. He kicked the coach out and went down and coached to go to the game. Hey. He sponsored that hey. Yeah. It, it happens in, you it happens you in normal life. Hey. It happened in normal life, though. Son. LeBron off the hook. And then y'all saw the dance. I'm saying it. Too, right? Seen the dance. You like that dance? Uh, not my uh, cup of tea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know you drink tea, yo. Yeah, oh, a little oh, nasty tea. Oh, yeah, tea. Yeah, no, wow. no, not oh, that oh. tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh see. Allen Iverson, big three. Suspended already. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, cause he he he. It's like a no call, yeah, no he, show on your job, so you can't just. He was supposed to show up in New Jersey. Nobody knew where he was. Yeah. Man, I was saying he back day. out here getting these getting these <laughs> Alan Iverson was not seen young, until the next was, day with the same clothes on he had on forty eight hours ago. Man, look, sitting in somewhere eating breakfast. He ran into some jumps. Mm-hmm. He was at the casino. He, that's what he told y'all. He yeah. ran into some jumps. <laughs> Yeah, things got real. If Allen Iverson don't support the big three, the big three gonna fit. Nah. Nah. Sorry. Even Marquee, so. huh? Nah. He don't even huh? play. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, the big three is so not gonna be in that shit. From the huddle? <laughs> yeah. Say what? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, no work, no show. Yeah, no call, no show. But let's talk about the three bamas from the area that's on the uh, the big three. Demar, who? Demar, um, Demar yeah. Johnson. Yeah. Uh, 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 Eddie, Eddie Bassin, and somebody else. Who other person? And Hawkins, Dave Hawkins. And matter of fact, uh, what's big man Sweetney? Sweetney in there too. Sweetney actually been getting some bumps. Losing a little weight. I see you, Sweetney. Oh, you definitely get some bump. Hey, out there big battle. Hey, so out there burning calories. He got his Fitbit on the whole time. So look, do y'all watch the show because y'all just have sports fans, or do y'all really get into the big three? I'm trying to support. I mean, it's bad. I usually see the highlights because I never know when it's it's coming on. Uh, They play. They play on play on Sunday, but it don't end until Monday. Big three on Fox Sports One. Gotcha. You, look at you think it. you're gonna be there next year? The victory? I don't think I think it gonna is. Get it. I think somebody's gonna get a contract. That's playing the victory. I don't, think playing think the I don't know about that. Some people man, look, there's a few people in there give you give a team Let's a solid say, ten minutes. They get a couple more big names, Kobe or somebody or and y'all, y'all, or D-Wade is about to return. A little TV, bit, not, not too, too much. TV, I guess the highlights on ESPN, so I was not that game too, too much. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I was watching not really. Before I watched the Big Three. Yeah, they, they promoted it a little bit better. Oh, y'all watch Big Three out there? Speak up, I can't even hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, see, There's people out there with their voices on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Hey, yeah. We gonna close up. So, any last words for you, man? Uh, I would say that I would say the biggest thing. I'm just really stepping in, you know, to the fashion industry. You know, right? Like I said, I'm I'm ready to be the best at what I do, and I'm I'm ready. So, okay, I'm taking on any any watch any out person. Your huh? Why? I mean, it's, oh, why? Watch out about your product. The biggest thing about my product is that you won't see it anywhere else. You know, unless coming from me. Anybody else product, you might see it somewhere. You know, or you see a lot of celebrities sometimes, oh, they're wearing the same stuff, or they got on the same outfit, or something right. like that. You'll never see my stuff, you know, so yours anywhere one else. For one. Yeah, it's one for one. One jacket, you know, one yeah. made, that's it. Yeah, it's personally made for them. It's, it's my, my brand stands for, you know, people want to stand out uniquely, you know, and that's the biggest thing, you know. So what's your itinerary out. at the fashion show? What are you actually going to be doing there? Uh, all these jackets you see right here is all going to be on the fashion show. So models will be walking out on the fashion showcase with my jackets on. Right. They going to so, have clothes on or they just, what they doing? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, 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 they might have the shirts on. Free yeah, those. Yeah. Oh, Bad news. <laughs> 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 you know, a little, little, you know, a little bit of something. I might create like a shirt or something like that for them to put underneath. You know, but yeah, that's that's like the base and that's what stands out about, you know, most companies, like I said, you got the black and white. You got pretty much the same stuff, you know, it's the same old song, you know, for the most part. Shout out to Digital Underground, you know, that's song, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, same song. Right. <laughs> right, well, appreciate you, man. Appreciate What's you coming on, Young Buck. Uh, do right. your thing. All right, y'all any last words? We're going to wrap it up for yeah, you. Yeah, man. Hey, so. look, your, your secret's safe if I was here, man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> 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 I thought she was coming here to see, you know. She said she wants to see, don't get hurt. That's not like that. So you going to support the man and buy something for your daughter? You going to buy your daughter uh, jacket? You going to come to your games? Huh? Nah, nah, nah. We just met. Go ahead, son. Oh, you just met? Oh, oh. oh. Snapchat. We just met, huh? Across the border. We all meet at. We all meet at. It was at the <laughs> what are you talking Before about? Before we close out, we got to close out with the WCW. Oh, so, oh yeah, let's look at these jams. This week, we got Miss Juju, Juju, Cameron Fiance. Yeah, we got somebody else, girl. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to do? Like these single <laughs> joints back here. Hey, hey, I can't help that Cameron snatched her up. But she fat as a mother. I was say, you, you know, gonna chop it the last couple I mean, weeks. I'm proud of you. Know, that's Juju right here. Yeah, yeah, that's Juju. Juju on the beat. Oh, Juju. Yeah. She got a book out. What's her credit score? She like a, a 680. Oh, nah. I just looked at yeah, She got to get yeah, her life together. Yeah, you know, she got a student loan she, debt. She a headache. Yeah, she, <laughs> she got student loan she debt, can, you know. She can't get the insurance. She graduated. Uh-uh. She can't get them? Can't get the drugs for me. Because she's 680. Her line of credit good, though. No, his line of credit good. <laughs> He's speaking for her. He's speaking for my man. Look at that. Look at Juju. that. Juju <laughs> fat as a kind of look like Wade's girl a little bit. Wasn't oh, okay, right here? Yeah, 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 a little bit. They okay, resemble. They're like hey, cousins. This is two shows in a row. He's saying something to me. Boy, you a 
Yeah, dude. No, it's just it don't make sense. You can hang. But we out of here. We are gonna close on Juju. Y'all be oh, easy. Sid, hey, Sid. Hey, t- oh, 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 shit. Sid in the building, everybody. Talk about my baby like that. <laughs> <laughs> we got our work. We got our work. All right, see yeah. y'all next time. Right. The huddle is out. <laughs> All right, y'all. Deuces. Mm, deuces. Oh. Hey. What's up? We invite oh, your friends on the.